Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. Today, hopefully, we'll finish this camera class right here. But before we do so, please check out the description box. You got a bunch of nice links down there, all kinds of nice stuff, beautiful stuff uh, that will help you out. Uh, also, my Twitter, my support page, Discord, you can join me on there as well. Um, drop a like, subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, let's just get going because I want to finish this beautiful camera class uh, before long, all right? So today we're gonna get into this nice um, maths of the whole thing. So what do we need? Like I said, we, we need a front vector. Now what happens if you move your mouse to the left or right? What happens then? Well, you increase the pitch and the yaw of the camera, okay? So you're gonna increase the pitch and the yaw, and that's gonna happen in here. So let's start here. So we're gonna update the pitch and the roll. So first of all, this is kinda, kinda interesting. Uh, this pitch don't forget the plus equals to here okay this pitch plus equals two and remember the offset X and the Y all right now pitch is up and down so that's why that's gonna be dependent on Y uh, static cast now we need to static cast the geo float because this is double and we're doing geo float uh, static cast geo float offset Y okay multiplied by this sensitivity multiplied by um, dt okay so that's how it's gonna work it's gonna kinda depending on the sensitivity and the frame rate it's gonna have a kinda even pitch up and down and if you move the mouse down it's obviously gonna go in the, into the negative alright then we're just gonna copy paste this I'm gonna change this to offset x okay offset x everything else is still the same and it's not going to be pitch, it's going to be yaw. Because yaw is to the left and to the right. Alright, so there you go. It could be a song, it's kind of nice. Anyway, then we need a way to kind of constrain the pitch. So we can't look all the way up and all the way down. Okay, and I like to keep it around 80 degrees. So if this um, pitch is greater or equal to 80.f or greater than... 80.f, let's say. We'll keep it greater than or equal to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, or greater than, uh, whatever. This pitch doesn't really matter. Equals to 80. Whatever you find pleasing. So this is something you can kind of, you know, customize on your own. Um, else, if this pitch, kind of tedious doing this, less than minus. 80.f this pitch is minus 80.f easy peasy also we're gonna constrain not constrain but we're gonna make sure the yaw doesn't get too big or too small because if you keep moving your mouse it's gonna be that number is gonna increase really fast and you'll probably end up being somewhere in the max number range really soon so we're gonna fix that if this um, if this yaw is greater than 360 degrees this yaw equals zero okay also if it's or if this yaw is less than minus 360 degrees to check out the other side as well um, uh, 330.f let's make sure it's dot f here so we have the correct stuffs okay so there you go and that kind of helps us not make that number too large all right so update mouse input is pretty much done um, and now the keyboard direction so this is gonna update the position vector kind of okay and this is not too hard um, basically we're gonna have a switch case here and it's gonna be dependent on um, direction all right, and then case, uh, what is gonna be case up? And we're gonna create an enum up here first before we do that. Let's create an enum, enum directions or direction uh, up equals zero, down, left, right. So up zero, down is one, left is two, right is three. Okay, perfect. And now we can kind of use those instead. Case 
up break uh, case down break case left break case right break default whoops default um, break okay cool so there we go so what's gonna happen once we do these now we're gonna use the uh, front and the right vectors to move the character okay so it's gonna be this position plus equals this front because we're going up okay so it's gonna depend on our front front vector and then oh, we're going forward not up and down um, let's kind of change that forward Forward and back. There we go. Forward, backward. Let's keep it backward actually. Make it a little more professional. Backward, forward, backward. Okay, backward. So plus equals our, our front vector if we're going forward and multiply it with this movement speed multiplied by dt easy peasy so that's actually how that's gonna work and the same thing for backward just make sure you do minus equal to here so you're kind of going against that uh, forward vector or the front vector and for left we're gonna do the same thing left is gonna be kind of uh, negative so we're gonna do minus here and we're not gonna use front we're gonna use the right vector here multiplied by the movement speed multiplied by DT just as usual just copy this and put it down here and add a plus because going to the right is adding something to that vector okay so that's just how it's gonna work no problems and uh, yeah that's about it that's about it for keyboard input and mouse input now we have our yaw and our position vectors all fine updating and stuff now the tedious part we're gonna have to initialize everything up here first so to do that we're gonna do this view matrix equals glm uh, mat4 1.f just initialize it uh, like this this uh, movement speed I'll set it to 3.f this sensitivity I'll set it to 5.f you can set it to whatever you want and then we're gonna do this world up equals world up this up equals world up this Actually, I'll do the front. Uh, this position equals position. This right equals uh, glm vec 3 0 0.f. Just initialize that to 0. And then up is going to be world up. Okay, let me just look a little quickly here. Uh, yeah, that seems just about right. And then we're gonna do this update camera vectors at the bottom just to initialize everything. So right will be initialized there, so it's no big deal. And uh, then we'll do this uh, yaw equals no this pitch equals zero dot f. This yaw equals zero dot f and this roll equals 0.f boom that's pretty much it for now we're gonna have to change yaw later on uh, just see what the hell's going on I'll set it to minus 90 actually because that's what I wrote in my cheat sheet but it should be fine um, let's see that's pretty much it and uh, do we have everything I'm pretty sure we have everything okay so now we're gonna get into the heavier math actually but before actually you know what I'm gonna do that in the next video we couldn't really complete it in this one because it would take a little too long I think uh, so yeah my time is pretty much up but at least this will help you move all the stuff be patient in the next video we'll actually just finish it off because I have to explain this a little more it's gonna take a little time so uh, I think it's better waiting for the next one uh, but until then just uh, read 
read it up on learnopengl.com, check it out, and maybe you'll complete this class before I do in the series, but uh, in the next video it should be complete. Uh, thanks for all the support, thanks for watching, check out the description box, you got a bunch of nice stuff going there, and uh, follow me on Twitter if you want, also check out the Discord channel, drop a like, subscribe if you want to, otherwise thanks for sticking with me, take care, I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright, bye bye.